Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Forge and Thought. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in and hope you guys enjoy this video. Today's topic is going to be on um, etching. So I'm going to show you guys the system that I use. Uh, it's very simple, very inexpensive, very DIY at home kind of kind of etching system. Um, you don't have to spend tons of money on a battery etching system. You can just do what I do here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So I want to show you guys. First thing that I've got is a little container of hot water with a lot of salt mixed into it. Um, <clears throat> doesn't have to be any specific measurement, just you load it with a bunch of salt and make sure the water's hot. I've got a nine volt battery <clears throat> and a backup just in case. Um, I've got a container of Q-tips out here and then a positive and a negative wire with the alligator clips on both sides. Like I said, here's the negative one. All right, and then I've got a little, I bought a stencil pack at like the dollar store or whatever for, you know, a dollar or two, whatever. Um, these are just some letters that I've got. I'm gonna go ahead and etch the letter D on this little knife that I made a while back, um, just so I could show you guys what it looks like when it's done. <clears throat> so you can also do this, you could cut out your own stencils if you're you know, really good with freehanding things. You could use electric tape and cut them out. These are just little stickers, basically. Um, so I'm gonna show you, go ahead and get this hooked up. Put the positive on the positive, negative on the negative. I think I did that backwards. <laughs> All right, the negative will actually get clamped to the blade itself. Pull out a Q-tip, and you put the positive on one side of the Q-tip. Make sure it's gripped on pretty tight. And then you dip this, actually, it'd probably be easier. You dip it in the water, the salt water, first, then clamp it on there, nice and tight. Then you use that to etch with, once you've got your sticker on, should have done that first. Make sure it's nice and wet. And then you basically just hold it over the area where the sticker is emptied out. And if you hold it long enough, you can hear it sizzling very faintly. It's kind of hard to hear. Not a whole lot of power. It's just a nine volt battery, but enough power it burns into the steel and leaves the design that you've cut out etched into it I kind of move mine around a little bit I do several passes I get it all black basically and then I go back over it and I kind of hold it in one specific spot for maybe you know five to ten seconds then I'll move it and just continue to do that all the way around Yeah, I can hear it sizzling. This is, um, I don't do this on every knife I make. Uh, just kind of recently getting into this with um, specific designs. And as I come up with more drawings of designs, I'll probably end up creating my own stencils so that I can etch you know, my initials or whatever it is that I want to etch onto the blade. But this is a really cheap, easy system to do. And as long as you keep it inside the lines, it won't make a big mess on the outside of the blade, as long as the stickers push down the whole way, nice and, nice and pressed down. And what I like to do is, every once in a while, I'll, <clears throat> when I think it's kind of losing some juice, I'll use the other end of the Q-tip and just clean up the area, get some of the, the blackness off of there, just so I can test and see how deep the edge is getting, because. The longer you hold it, the deeper the etch will get. So, on this process, more is better. Nice dripping wet right there. Alright. 
what I normally do after I'm done with this is if I've already done, which you should already do your hand sanding and everything, get it to the final grit that you're going to hand sand to. What I do is after I'm done with this, normally I will take that highest grit, whether it be 1200 or 2000 or 600, whatever it is. Um, and I will just lightly run over it just to make sure that it's nice and clean. The edges are nice and nice and crisp. kind of tedious and it can take a little while but like I said the more you do it the better it will look and I mean you could use cotton balls if you didn't have q-tips to, to do this with point across so you guys can see what it looks like. the letter D and like I said the deeper you want the etch just do it a little bit longer this was just to kind of show you guys that it can be done and this is how I do it but if you'd want it more cleaned up and more crisp just hold it on there for a little bit longer and you'll have a nice little etch of whatever design it is you want so thank you guys very much um, for watching this video I hope you guys liked it I hope it was somewhat educational for you guys um, it's really hot out lately so I haven't been every day outside at the forge but I am still working on some stuff so please stay tuned check out the Facebook page as well um, I do have a lot of projects that I'm working on right now so I'll have videos and pictures and stuff updates um, just thank you very much and if you guys like this video please don't forget to hit the like button or leave a comment and if you're not already please subscribe thank you guys for joining me on another fortune thought you guys have a good day Thanks.